Welcome back in tonight's showbiz report. It looks like the heat is cooling on Vanilla Ice. He's now settled the grand theft charges against him. Ice was arrested after he was accused of stealing items from a foreclosed home in Florida. He'll have to perform 100 hours of community service and pay $1,000 in restitution. Aerosmith's frontman Steven Tyler is living on the edge and singing a new tune these days. Tyler is apparently going country. He made the announcement, announcement at the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville that he'll be releasing a country album. Tyler performed with Brad Paisley for a TV Christmas special last year, and Carrie Underwood sang with Aerosmith on their 2012 album, Music from the Edge. The Showbiz Report is brought to you by the show at Agua Caliente Casino Resort Spa in Rancho Mirage. On April 4th, check out Cool in the Gang, Moody Blues on May 1st, and comedian Gabriel Iglesias takes the stage on May 2nd and 3rd. Stay tuned to KMIR for your chance to win tickets to the show. Easter is on Sunday, so to help you celebrate, our Manny the Movie Guy has a list of films to see. Hello, movie buffs. My top 10 favorite films to see this Easter weekend. Let's look for the beacon of hope. Number 10 is the greatest story ever told. The life of Jesus Christ is certainly the greatest story ever told. And in this version, Max von Sydow is the son of God. While the many celebrity cameos prove distracting, focus on the beauty and the spectacle of the redemptive story. Number 9 is The Robe. The first film to be released in CinemaScope shows the crucifixion of Christ through the eyes of the Roman Tribune played by Richard Burton. It speaks of the transformative power of the robe that Jesus wore. Number 8 is Easter Parade, the one and only chance you'll get to see Fred Astaire and Judy Garland together. There's no religious tone, but the musical numbers devoted to the power of love will lift you up. Number 7 is It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. This 1974 jam puts the faith of the peanut gang to the test. Is the Easter Beagle real? Number 6 is Jesus Christ Superstar. I saw this musical on the big screen as a child and I was mesmerized by a singing, dancing Jesus Christ. He was a superstar in my eyes then as he is in my heart now. Number 5 is Jesus of Nazareth. Franco Zeffirelli gives a comprehensive take on the life of Jesus Christ as per portrayed by Robert Powell. Number four is Ben-Hur. The Sword and Sandals Best Picture Oscar winner has Charlton Heston in the title role and features this nine-minute chariot battle, which is one of the greatest moments in cinema history. And a number three, another one with Charlton Heston. This one is The Ten Commandments, the last film to be directed by Cecil B. DeMille. The life of Moses is told in this bombastic and extravagant masterpiece. At number two is The Last Temptation of Christ. Director Martin Scorsese humanizes the Son of God in this provocative movie that wants us to understand the flesh in order to embrace the Spirit. And the best movie to see during Easter is The Passion of the Christ. Director Mel Gibson forces us to witness the brutality inflicted on Christ. Its redemption through violence is symbolized by the body and blood of Jesus Christ. So there you have it, movie buffs. My favorite films I enjoy every Easter. I'm Manny, your movie angel. Have an angelic weekend. Thank you, Manny. You too. Imagine you're driving to work, then suddenly a bag of money literally hits your car. This actually happened to a Utah man, and Nicole Vowell has the story. So every morning I come down this road, I'm just motored on along. The same commute. 7.30 in the morning, and uh, I just get off the exit. For the past 15 years. There's my off-ramp, Wright Brothers Drive. But Tuesday, Dan Kennedy's morning drive was one he will likely remember for years to come. It just swung the door open like that, and a bag fell out. An armored car driving in front of him made an unintentional drop. It looked like just a big orange garbage bag. Dodging oncoming traffic. They could have killed me pretty easy. He grabbed the bag and ran. But when he opened up the big orange bag, he was baffled by what was inside. Holy smokes, this is a big bag of money. A lot of money. I would like to believe there was a million dollars in that thing. He tossed the cash in his trunk and made a quick pit stop. Honestly, I had to show a, I had to show a couple of people at work. I said, guys, you won't believe this. Check this out. <laughs> Snapped a few pics before calling Utah Highway Patrol and turning it in. It was just wads and wads of very cleanly stacked, very, very expensive 
you know, 50s, 100s, and so on. There was a lot of money in there. An unlikely find with a very admirable ending. Obviously, someone was presented with a, a situation, and he made the right choice. You'd do it. You'd do it. I mean, wouldn't you? Everybody would. It's just the right thing to do. Very nice guy there. Still ahead tonight, you could win a private John Legend concert, but his commercial promoting it? Hey, that's the best part. We'll have more coming up next.